There's never thing you're going to do. There's a wrong way and a right way. And if you listen good, you will know the right way. I want to do good. Yeah. I want the world to be better because I was here. I'm not saying I'm going to rule the world or I'm going to change the world, but I guarantee that I will spark the, the, the brain that will change the world, and that's our job. My name is John Robinson Jr. I am the author of the book titled Joy and Love. Joy and Love is a personal development book as well as a world development book. So the idea is to maximize joy in your life and love in the world. Now I realize these are two very tall goals, so I broke it down on how to achieve these goals using one formula. The formula is love energy. It really does roll down to love. And I've always believed that love conquers all. We all have energy as people. And I think you've got to be conscious of the energy that you're giving out to other people. That energy, no doubt, um, it will come back. Yes. The way I describe love energy is sort of like breathing. When you're inhaling, inhale faith, confidence, gratitude. Gratitude has a lot to do with um, taking into account the community and what it is exactly uh, you're putting back into it. Are you in touch with your spiritual side? Yes. I think uh, I'm lucky that I have a lot of uh, friends who are sort of in that transformational world and we always had conversations about that and I think you have to know what, what's going on inside of you and make, make changes. When we're happy, when we're confident, when we're plugged into our empowerment, we're sharing. Now when you're exhaling, exhale empowerment, compassion, and a guiding hand for others. That's when answers, clues, and rewards really open up in your life on how you are to achieve your personal desired end result. I really think that we cannot be successful with our own selves if we're not loving ourselves. I think it's a conscious decision. Loving yourself can be misunderstood as being selfish or self-centered. It is not. Do the internal work to get better. What a lot of times that make people happy is other people's happiness. You've got to have the good energy in your heart and you've got to radiate that to other people that are around you and they're going to feed off that. That's what we can give in, in terms of the energy that we can you know, conduct and contribute is, is that love energy. And if it comes back, then we're, we're, we've achieved the, uh, you know, the, ultimate, uh, the ultimate goal, the ultimate purpose. By virtue of that, you want to share it with the world. So now that we live with love energy, we can now apply that to different elements of your life. Spirituality, health, knowledge, character, wealth, relationships. Everybody struggles to know that they're worthy, that they're valued, that they're loved. We're all looking for it, we all want to feel it, and I searched outside of myself for it. As a result, everything caved in on me. Uh, my ex-husband, I soon discovered, showed signs of um, abusive behaviors. So he was emotionally abusive. I recognized that it was going towards physical abuse, so I got out. Okay. And, and from that, I, I started, instead of me saying, you know, he did all these bad things, I then, like I said, went towards myself and said, okay, what's this about me? So you're conditioning yourself. You're always conditioning yourself to see things as only solutions. You know, when I first started in the business, I had a, a crappy business partner and we had a lot of issues. And I could have dwelled on that, but I chose not to. As your personal joy increases, you're now able to transcend joy to increase compassion for humanity, increase compassion for the environment, and I break down specific ways on how to do that. I also learned to give up control. I learned to become more patient. That's it, that's joy. I, you don't really need anything else. That's a constant reward. I really believe in living in the moment. And that's by not reserving your joys for, say, the weekend. <laughs> Enjoy it now. You've got to make the best of, of what you've been given. So it's got to be open to making changes in your wardrobe, in your mindset, in your personal life, and everything around you. And like, hey, you, you like, shouldn't take everything too seriously. you got to do what you want to do. You know, do what makes you happy. When you do what you love, naturally, there's a glow to you. 
and when there's a glow to you, other people notice. People will actually say there's something different about you. If everyone can live their lives that way, we'd have a, 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 a world just full of um, uh, very respectable, uh, fulfilled, enlightened, spiritual uh, just beings that uh, you know, could probably end up learning how to levitate. <laughs> One of my catchphrases is you don't have to prove yourself, just be yourself. That way you can be yourself and, and be in the world and exchange. And then you live your potential, you live your truth. What I would like the reader to take away from it is a sense that they can live their best life possible while helping others. It's not just a end all be all with self. We really are connected to a greater whole. It's a constant, nice exchange with the world. You're giving to the world, you're receiving, and you have a beautiful, constant flow that keeps you energized and fulfilled and constantly moving through the world in a positive way. Oh, that's fantastic. Inspire that no matter what it is your art, product, or service is, you can do it to your best ability and be successful at loving what you do. Loving what you do is only going to inspire others to love what they do. And ultimately, we'd all be better because of it. Wish you all the best, buddy. You took the time to do something that you're passionate about, and it's just a matter of getting that word out there one person at a time. John. <laughs> <laughs> Meeting you is such a pleasure. You feel your spirit and feel your energy, and you're just warm and inviting. And so you, you clearly are living what you're preaching. Oh, thank you so much. That warms my heart. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, join up.